Right, so here we go. First thing I'm going to just show you the whole piece. I kind of promised myself that I'd get better at doing this video thing, but I've spent about an hour faffing around just trying to get the video set up. I've dropped my phone about four times. So this is um, a bit of a challenge, but anyway, we're getting there. Um, I hope you can see this. Um, I'm particularly interested in the left-hand side of this painting, not so much the right. I think the right-hand side still needs some work. Um, there are bits of it that I think feel a bit disjointed, but I am kind of interested in the left-hand side. So this started out as an experimental piece. It's something that I've worked on three or four times over the last probably six months to a year because it sits for a while and then I come back to it. And a couple of months ago, we were up in Wales next to sea in Norfolk. And so when I came back to this and added some ink and some more watercolour and some other marks, did some mark making on it. I was thinking about the textures and the colours that you get up on that North Norfolk coast and things like the posts along uh, the harbour and the spray, little bits of spray that come up when the, when the tide comes in. And uh, so that's where this came from. I'm I love this dark mark. I don't know whether it's enough or whether I need another bit of it somewhere else. Um, I might end up doing some more of it, but in the meantime, I feel like it needs to be cut down because there's too much of it. And there's another aspect of it, which I think I'm playing with, which is that this piece here felt like it needed to come out because although the initial painting was about the, the, um, the sea and the, the coast, it sort of also ended up being a little bit more sort of gen general landscapey with some some dunes or some hills and this piece felt like it needed to come off um, so it did and now there's a little bit of me that's wondering whether I should sort of put it in there to, to provide a counterpoint but I'm not sure it might it might not so let's have a look at the cropping and where I think it should come back to and then I'll decide whether that blue piece is going to go in or not I hope you can hear me because I haven't got a microphone, but I'm kind of hoping this is going to work, the video bit, I mean. So I started off thinking that that was the painting, but then as I moved across, I realised that there are aspects of it that I just really want to include. So I really like this, this little piece of texture here. This little pop of orange coming out and there's a beautiful texture there that I think just has to stay in. And equally, I like this. There's a sort of area where a piece of tape has been taken off, was put down and then was taken off and, and um, deliberately. And it's left some very nice textures underneath it. So this is kind of where my second thinking is. I definitely prefer it to the sort of initial tighter crop. Um, I like these blue marks in here, which echo this blue. So you've got two different kinds of blue in there and you've got these little touches of the... Um, warmer blue in there. Now if I take it a bit further, let me straighten that up because that will go like that. That's where it is. If I straight take this a bit further, I reach a point here where the orange echo is, there's an echo of the orange at the top and the bottom and there's a line in it. But then I get to a point there where suddenly it just starts to, that orange just becomes too dominant and it, sh it pulls my eye too much and I lose the really interesting, exciting little splash of colour down there, which I love. So I think ultimately the place to crop it is going to be there. That's what feels right to me. Question now is, does that go in or does it come out? In, out, in, out. Ooh, who knows? That's going to be to be decided, but I think you've probably... Okay, so I changed my mind. Um, I think that's an artist's prerogative. I decided that actually this single dark mark really did bug me because it felt like it was sitting there all on its own and it just didn't sort of fit with the rest of the painting. So in the end, the blue piece did go in, but it in a way that it was it didn't sort of feel completely stuck on. It had to actually have some some other marks with it. The um, 
I decided to add some more dark marks and this is where we've ended up. Um, which feels like a much more whole image to me and that's going to be where I crop it. So I prefer the fact that the blue is in there because it echoes the shape higher up, it breaks up the big orange shape that was hassling me because it felt like it was too dominantly orange. Um, and now I think the eye moves around the painting much better than it did um, with the two different blues and some of these dark marks, which give me better contrast. So that's where we've ended up. That's it. Not changing my mind anymore. Going to cut it and then that's the end. Done.